What's up friends, it's Valentin Kosenko. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at DaVinci Resolve and some of my favorite shortcuts, which will make your editing so much faster. Enjoy. Okay, so now that we're into DaVinci Resolve, let's take a look at my keyboard customization. Click on DaVinci Resolve then click on keyboard customization right here and as you can see some of the standard keys that are not used by DaVinci Resolve are used in my keyboard customization preset but let's take a look at what DaVinci Resolve normally comes with and as you can see there are actually a few keys in DaVinci Resolve that are not used in that standard configuration and yeah let's just do that let's use them so the first thing we got to do is click on all commands search for razor and then click on this plus right here and type C so now you can see that the C right here that was not used before is used for our razor blade so that we can separate our clips from each other which is just a normal cut. And using C makes everything so much faster because you don't have to spread your fingers like that. I just like it that way. So the next thing I really like to do is click on X and as you can see X is normally used to mark your clip which I find not that useful. And that's why I'll be using another command for this right here. Let's search for delete. And if you scroll up here, then you can see that there's edit, delete gaps, delete selected, which is currently on backspace. And we'll add this and click on X. So now all we got to do is go and search for mark clip and remove the X right here so that it's not used twice. Go back to delete, click on all commands here. And now let's just add one more thing, which is ripple delete. And that's what we'll be putting on shift X. I'll be removing this right here and I'll also be removing backspace and let's remove this and then we'll be pressing shift X and as you can see now we have delete on X and ripple delete on shift X and ripple delete is basically the same but it closes the gap between the clips that are surrounding the one that you're currently deleting so I really like these two they speed up everything for me personally and I hope it will do the same for you okay so one other thing I really like to do is put the render cache color output on one of our F keys so that you can easily mark a few of your clips press F5 for example and then just render them all out this can be really helpful especially if you have something that has to be pre-rendered first so that you can easily preview it in your timeline without rendering the entire clip so if you search for render here you'll find clip render cache color output click here and press F5 and then click on save and now as you can see there's a new prompt coming up which tells us to enter a preset name let's just call it DaVinci Resolve Easy Cuts click OK and now as you can see you have one of your templates here and if you take a look here you also have a few more templates if you're used to like Adobe Premiere Pro or Avid Media Composer or even Final Cut Pro 10 then you can use these right here as well but let's just go with our own one that we made right here click on close the next thing I'm gonna do is put a clip on our timeline right here and let's also copy that music track but I'll disable the music so that it does not disturb us for now and now the great thing is we can just stop anywhere on our timeline press C and as you can see it makes a cut and if you only want a cut on your video footage then you press on your video first and sometimes when both clips are linked like this and you click on one of them then both will get highlighted and then pressing C will still cut both of them so what you gotta do is press alt and then press on the clip or on the audio to select it now we know how we can use the razor blade let's make these two cuts here and now if I select both of them and click X they will get deleted and the other great thing is if I press shift X they'll get deleted and the gap will be closed which is such a great thing and having these two keys really close to my left hand makes everything so much faster and there's one more thing that I would like to talk to you about which is the trim edit mode if you press T or click right here you'll be able to trim your clips like that which is so helpful if you want to trim something in between and this way you don't have to mark your clip first push it forward and get this out here you can just click T and then push it like that and everything beyond that will get pushed as well you can do that in both directions as you can see and you can also do it here this is so helpful and saves so much of my time and I'm so glad that I found out about this and the other thing you can do in trim edit mode is the following if you press T again you can click on a clip and you can change the beginning and the end of the clip and you can also see the total length of the clip which is really helpful by the way if you're not using alt and your mouse wheel to zoom in and out of your timeline then you're also losing quite a bit of time 
So you should definitely do that. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. That's my favorite shortcuts for DaVinci Resolve. If you have any more that you use regularly, then please let me know in the comments below. Other than that, I really hope you enjoyed. And if you did, make sure to subscribe to this channel to stay updated for future content and more tutorials like these. Thanks so much for watching and see you in the next one.